What's up guys, Shane Stars with Droid Modern X. Today we're going to take a quick look at the Clean ROM version 2.1 by Scrossler of Scott's ROMs. Of course, Clean ROM is one of the most popular ROMs for the Nexus 7. We're going to take a look at it on the Nexus 6. This is Android version 5.1, so it includes uh, not only some performance and enhancements to the stock system itself, but it also includes everything that is included in 5.1. So let's go ahead and get started with this review. Yeah, so we'll just kind of jump right into this. This is Android 5.1, so if we go into settings, and we go down to about phone, you guys can see that we're running Android 5.1, and the build number is CleanROM 2.1. So this is the latest version of CleanROM. Like I said, there's not a whole lot of customization options necessarily added to this ROM. Basically what you get is just added performance, added stability, and you're gonna get some improved battery stats. Uh, but we'll just show you real quickly the performance. So 5.1 already speeds up the performance by making all four CPUs run at the same time. So if you have, you know, you've got your quad core is running all four processors at the same time, which makes it run a whole lot faster, a whole lot smoother. But just the settings that are included in Clean ROM speed it up that much faster. You guys can see we're running the Nova Launcher here, which comes included with the ROM in the Aroma Installer, and just that alone also helps things to run a little faster. Some of you guys are not really into the material design when you're running the Nova Launcher. It takes that away so you don't have that white background. I know a lot of you have complained about that. Uh, so it just kind of makes this look even cleaner than what it looks like with that material skin that you get with 5.1. So those are just a few of the initial improvements. Um, other than that, you get all the same improvements that come with 5.1. So you have uh, your silent mode, which is not really silent mode. If I uh, turn this on, you'll see that you have your priority settings. So you can actually turn notifications off until a certain time. Uh, the only notifications in priority mode that would come through is if you set up applications like Facebook or your text messaging app. They would go through and everything else would be silent. Okay, one other cool thing about 5.1 is that it forgets bad Wi-Fi connections. So if you try to connect to a free hotspot somewhere and it's just poor and it won't stay connected, the next time you go to that place... Uh, instead of automatically connecting to that Wi-Fi hotspot like Google normally does or like Android normally does, it will remember that that was a bad connection and won't even try to connect. Uh, another thing included with 5.1 is device protection. That is still intact here. Uh, you can set up device protection, which essentially allows you to protect your device in case it's stolen. Uh, the user, if it is pin protected, would have to know your Google account information in order to wipe data, factory reset the phone, or just to gain access to the phone, they'd have to have your Google sign-on credentials. Now it gives you that option to enable it on first boot. So when you first boot up the clean ROM, it will give you that option to enable it. If you don't enable it, uh, then it won't be enabled. Obviously you'd have to go into settings and security and enable it from there. So another cool thing here is uh, in your notifications, the heads up notifications, when they drop down, you can dismiss them by swiping up. In the past, if you swipe them away, they would go away from your notification bar entirely. If you swipe up the notification, it remains intact. So when you pull down your notification bar, it'll still be there, um, but you can deal with it later. You don't have to deal with it right now. 5.1 now also supports voice over LTE or high definition voice. It also supports dual SIM. So if you wanted to put in uh, say your business sim and your personal sim, you can do that now with Android 5.1. New animations in the toggles, you have uh, your menu for your Wi-Fi, so instead of having to actually open up your settings and uh, see your menu from there, you can actually access it here. And the same thing is true for Bluetooth, it'll show all the Bluetooth devices that you can pair with there in your menu without actually having to open up the entire uh, settings. So Auto Rotate has a new animation there and there's new animations throughout you'll kind of discover those as you go okay so one other thing that i noticed here if we go to our lock screen and we pull down our toggles here we can actually swipe up from this blank space to unlock our device so that's new in 5.1 other than that you're just going to get uh, with clean rom you're just going to get a really smooth super fast super high performance rom experience and you're going to have just a little cleaner of a look some of you just aren't really a big fan of material design so you get just a little bit of a cleaning of that you get this awesome new wallpaper from scrossler and you'll just get a super high performance rom okay so one other quick thing i have to say is that camera performance seems to be really amazing uh in this clean rom and uh, one thing that i have noticed in on the nexus 6 is that low light flash photography is really awful 
It has like some kind of haze built into it. I'll show you guys a couple of low light pictures that I took here with the flash. And that haze is completely gone. Uh, so camera is really improved in 5.1 and clean ROM. And I thought that was worth a mention. Uh, pictures are taken very fast, almost instantly. So camera performance is one thing that wasn't really mentioned by Google, but I can tell a difference in my camera on the Nexus 6. So anyways guys, that about wraps it up for this quick review. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.